Would you like to know how to get your Facebook ads done in just a fraction of the time? If so, this is the video you're gonna to wanna to check out. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features inside the Facebook Ads Manager, and that is we're gonna show you exactly how to duplicate ads. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We are so glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more deals. So if that's what you're after, this absolutely is the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Now, before we get going on today's video, just one quick note. Down in the description below, you will find a link to our Facebook Masterclass. It is all of our best practices, everything that we've learned after generating 50,000 plus leads on Facebook. So make sure you go check that out, totally free and it is time well spent. Now, as we get into today's video, what we're talking about is how to get ads done very, very quickly using the duplicate feature inside the Facebook Ads Manager. So just to kind of set the stage and put a little perspective on this, when I am helping my clients and setting all their ads up, um, a lot of times people are like, man, Kevin, how are you setting up <laughs> you know, all of these ads that you're doing every single week for all of these people? And uh, I mean, sure, it does take time, but that's frankly why people hire me. But aside from that, part of the way that we're able to get things done very, very quickly is using this duplicate feature. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and share my screen and we'll walk you through this. So the nice thing about it is, you know, if you were to come to one of your ads and hover over it, you'll notice that there's this little menu that pops up below. And one of the ones that, uh, in fact, the one that we're gonna be talking about today is duplicate. So when you click on duplicate, Facebook says, do you want it to be a new campaign or do you just wanna test something, do like an A-B test of that exact ad? So an A-B test is where you run the exact same ad, um, two different versions of it, one that has something that's slightly changed and what you're monitoring and modifying is you know what is it that people are reacting to is it a better headline is it a better ad copy a different photo um, and anyway that's what an a b test is is you're running two mostly identical ads with typically one thing that's changed and you're just kind of testing and tweaking to uh, see what works best so that is different than what i'm going to talk about so i'm going to use this one that says create a new campaign and then we're gonna uncheck this box that says show the exact existing reactions, comments, and shares. Um, usually if you're uploading a new image, it'll automatically undo that anyway. So frankly, we're just gonna undo it here. <clears throat> but the nice thing about using the duplicate feature is it basically clones the ad. And if you're doing another ad that has similar settings, it just makes it so that you don't have to do as much work. So you'll notice over here on the side, this is the original uh, campaign objective, the original ad set, and then the original ad. And so what it's done is it's duplicated that and you can tell right here because it's labeled as copy. So what you would do here, um, I'll just call this new demo ad, but see in my case where I'm doing marketing for a lot of real estate agents, we have to mark this special ad category for housing, but you'll notice I don't have to select anything because it was already done on the previous ad, right? So much of this was already done on the previous ad. So if you duplicate one, uh, an ad of, of a previous one that you had, it keeps all of those settings. And so you just have to make the changes that you want. So you would just give it a new name and you'll notice that once you do that, here's the new, you know, here's the new one that you've uh, duplicated and then the ad set for the one that you've duplicated and then the ad <clears throat> for the campaign that you've duplicated. So once I've got the new name on there, I would come here. If there are any changes to the Facebook page, to the budget, to um, the dates. Now I had this one set as um, on the previous ad, it was set to end on the 12th. So if I wanted to run it for a week, so there we go with two clicks, I've now modified that. Um, let's just say the targeting that I wanted to use for the ad was the same, but you can see how, you know, here in just a couple of clicks, I've already got all the way to the end where I would be making my changes to the ad. So here, if you were changing the image, this is where you would come and just upload that. You would make any text changes to the ad that you wanted to make. 
And you know, in this case, it's a lead generation ad, so there's an instant form. If you wanted to create a new form, you can duplicate that as well, which I recommend because it's gonna keep a lot of those settings for you. And so a lot of times, um, this part goes really, really quickly, where you'll typically spend most of your time you know, as you're putting together an ad uh, for whatever it is, is you'll normally spend most of your time creating the image or video or what, you know, whatever kind of content you're using for the ad. That's the part that typically takes you the most time. Um, but I have a lot of templates and things set up for that uh, that I use with my clients. And so again, I can crank those out pretty, pretty quickly. Normally, I can do an entire ad, creating the graphic, getting the ad set up, doing everything. I can usually do that in about 10 to 15 minutes. And a lot of that is using this duplicate feature. So that is why you know duplicating um, ads is such a time saver, is it keeps so many of those settings. And so you don't have to just keep doing it over and over and over again. Duplicate it put all of those settings that you had on the previous ad into the new one, make whatever modifications you want, which is usually just a few things here and there, and you've got a brand new ad that you can do in a hurry. So I know I went through that fairly quickly, but frankly, it's a pretty simple feature. If you're familiar already with the ads manager, then duplicating one becomes very simple. And uh, it, like I said, it's just a massive, massive time saver. So that is today's video on how to duplicate Facebook ads. Hopefully that was helpful. If so, take a split second, click that thumbs up button, that thumbs up button down below. Uh, we appreciate your support. That basically is a signal to YouTube that says, hey, we like this content. And so the more people like it, the more they show it to other people. So like I said, if we've helped you, help us in return, click that button, we appreciate your support. Also, if you click the subscribe button down below, <clears throat> you will get more information from us. So next to, the next to the subscribe button, there is a bell notification. And if you click on that, you will be notified every time we put out brand new content and we put out brand new content like this every single week. Uh, that is, oh, lastly, one last thing. If you are curious about our services, wanting to hire us to do your marketing for you, to set up your lead generation, your follow-up systems, and all of your retargeted ads to build a database, we would love to do that. Down in the description below, you'll find a link with more information to our services. So make sure you check that out. Other than that, that is it. Make it a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. As always, if we can help, let us know. Uh, otherwise, we will see you on the next video. Take care.